Hey man, say man, it's your boy Todd Drink back with another mother freaking video. Alright. I ain't made one in a couple days. I actually been doing a lot of stuff that I should. I don't know man. I have a bad habit of not recording stuff. Um when stuff happened, but I don't know. I'm probably gonna post this tomorrow. I'm just because I'm off today, so throughout the day just Random. That's a nice day, man. It's 60 degrees outside right now, bro. Like, it feels so, so good right now, bro. But, um, yeah, man, we just out enjoying the day, you know, riding around. That's all I do. You feel me? Um, anyway. But, uh, yeah, man. Hey, stay tuned. It might turn into something else, another type of video. I might do something army related. It just depends. Just stay tuned. up y'all it's your boy you feel me look this 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 uh this scenery i ain't seen the scenery in a minute man look today i'm coming with y'all or back to y'all with a <clears throat> y'all can tell by the title man all right look it's about dating and the army but I'm pretty sure it go for every branch. It's basically all the same. So I'm gonna let y'all know now, disclaimer. If you're in a relationship right now, it's like between a couple weeks and like three months, y'all been together, just cut it off right now, bro. Like army don't care about none of that. It's either you single or you married. That's the first thing. Cause if you go to a recruiting station and stuff, they gonna ask, are you single or are you married? They don't care if you're dating somebody. They don't care if you're talking to anybody. They don't care if you've been dating that person for 10 years. If you're not married, they don't even care if you're engaged. If you're not married, you're, you're they're, they can't come with you when you go get stationed somewhere. I mean, unless you pay for them and that's stupid. Forget that, hey. but you can only, only, look, 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 just, just, just cut it off. Just cut it off, all right? Um, let me see. Yeah, so single married, that's what they gonna ask you when you go to a recruiting station. Um, and even if you in the army and you talking to somebody, it's not in the army. If you if you don't think y'all gonna get married, yeah, yeah, just cut off, bro. It's not worth it. Bro or sis, it's not worth it. Whichever one watching, you know, I don't discriminate, you feel me? Bro, sis, it, it, it don't matter, all right? Um, but yeah, man, so basically, like a lot of people think they're like, cause in previous videos, way back, I had said it was a dude that brought condoms to basic training, right? It's gonna be none of that going on, right? In the army. Like, there's a lot of stuff that, look, if y'all join, y'all know, um, it's, it's a lot of uh, precautions and stuff so that doesn't happen um basically you can still do whatever but it's recommended that you don't if y'all know what i'm saying like if if, if everybody hushy hushy about what's going on hey by all means do your thing but if you do that and somebody ends up telling 
Don't say the drink ain't tell you. Hey, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, okay? But um, yeah, man. So like, basically, is the thing that really messes it up, like for relationships in the military, is because the military is basically like a regular job. And just wearing the uniform, you know, like like a chef, they wear a uniform. Police officer wear a uniform. You know, like basketball players, football players, they wear a uniform. It's a regular job, basically. You know? But it's the rank system that's in it and all of that. That's what really messes it up for people that be wanting to date in the military. Like, I'm not saying it's not possible. Like I said, if everybody hushy hushy about what's going on or if like y'all the same rank and stuff, like that's cool. Like if y'all the same rank and y'all doing y'all thing, that's cool. But it's like if you it's like enlisted, which is like the NCOs and like the the um the privates and all of that and you know, junior enlisted, senior enlisted and like the officer, like an enlisted person, even if you a sergeant major, you can't be with a an officer. Like, cause they technically out. <sighs> Ooh, this thing. But they, they technically outrank them. So, um, like I said, everything is based on the rank structure, man. Um, like me right now, I just got recently promoted to a PFC. So if you're a PFC, you're a female looking at that, hit me up. Nah, nah, don't, <laughs> don't, don't hit me up. Um, I mean, you can't, look, I don't care, whatever, you know, whatever float your boat, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, man, so, um, like me, I'm a PFC, like, anything, I think, I'm not really sure about this, but E1, E1 through E4, which is private through specialist, well, I know, like, E1 through E3, if y'all talking, I think that's cool, but, like, when they get to specialists and stuff like that, like a private, can't talk to a specialist. Um, E4 and below can't talk to NCOs, like, like relationship-wise, you know, because they'd be considered fraternization. It's the big, big word, and that's a big no-no in the army, you feel me, fraternization. So that's really why, like, a lot of people, ain't that like, e even if you was, you know, getting girls, you know, outside of the army, you feel me? Then you get here, you like, dang, you know, I ain't, I really can't. It's cause everybody's scared. Everybody don't know who you're talking to. Like everybody in civilian, you don't know who, if you could be, you could be talking to an officer. Like LT, lieutenants and stuff like they're, like those people are not old. Like it, even like NCOs, E6s, staff sergeants. Like I have a staff sergeant that's in my, my um battery. My my NCO, he 23. He 23 and he a staff sergeant. So, like, age, like, it's... <laughs> the rank thing is basically just, like, it's, it's kind of like age. No matter really how old you are in the Army, if you a 24-year-old private and it's a 24-year-old staff sergeant, it don't, they don't care how old y'all are because everybody's legal because you can't join the Army. Unless you're 18 or older. Everybody legal. It's the rank thing, man. So, like, you, all I'm saying is don't get your hopes up with trying to find nobody in the military. Like, like I said, it do, do happen. You know, keep on the hush hush. You know, it do happen. But on the serious note, like, just don't expect it. You feel me? Um, yeah, I'm... That's that's basically it, man. I'm just I'm just trying to let y'all know, give y'all this advice, so y'all don't think this this freaking um, military mingle and stuff like no, this ain't this ain't mender, you know, military tender. This ain't this ain't that, okay? And this, this is the wrong place to be, you know, getting caught up with that stuff. Cause it's a it's a it's a difference, you know, getting caught up with somebody else's girl. And it's a difference getting caught up in the military with somebody you ain't supposed to be with. Like I said, as I said before, if everybody on the hushy hushy, 
but just be prepared if somebody snitch. That's all I'm saying. And you could be getting a lot of trouble with that. Article 15, um, kicked out, depending on how serious stuff got. Not like how serious the relationship got, but how serious stuff went left, you know? Way left, like, like way, well, that's to y'all right. Way left, you feel me? So, but, but man, that, that's, that's really, yeah. Hey, that's life, so nice. I'm just, like, But this light like something else right here, boy. It's finna be summer. Germany finna light up. You feel me? It's finna light up. But no nah, man, that's that's really it. Just don't just don't be expecting to be with anybody. I mean, I'm not saying it like that. Just don't expect to be with people. All I'm saying is don't try it. You know, if it falls into your lap and it's just, you know, good time at eight. Do your thing go crazy. But we don't expect him to have. That's your boy Tall Drink, you know. I'm out this mug. Peace.